Ciao mondo. Hello world. Hola mundo. Hello mom. I'm here today with the classic Carger Blood Purification Journal Club with Dr. Lilia Rizzo from Monterrey, Mexico, reading about a paper we wrote together in conjunction with Mitch Rosner from the University of Virginia on acute kidney injury risk assessment and the constitution of the nephrology rapid response team. This is a fantastic paper, which is part of a series of papers we published in blood purification, highlighting the importance of the nephrologist in the ICU. So Lilia, exactly what is the model that you propose? We are proposing an ARA model, that means Aki Risk Assessment, and we are trying to improve something with the uh, physical physicians, uh, young physicians that maybe are in contact with the patient and they don't know how to get the concept of Aki. So we have fantastic form and we go back to the basics. That means that we have to go through the actual clinical scenario and the physical examination all the biochemistry and the biomarkers if are available. So, so these fantastic four are exactly four points of an algorithm, basically. Mm -hmm. You start with the past history, mm -hmm. you look at the clinical scenario, you do physical examination, and then you order biomarkers for acute kidney injury. Yes. And then what happens? And then we can uh, make a triage and see if the patient is a high risk moderate risk or low risk. If the patient is in low risk, we just go on with what we are doing. We monitor. And if the patient is in moderate risk, we must perform biomarkers and follow the patient for 24 to 80, 80, 48 hours. And if the patient is in high risk, you must trigger the nephrology rapid response team to go to see the patient immediately and perform biomarkers also. So this is very interesting. In our model in Vicenza, we have basically constituted a rapid response team of nephrologists that are activated based on the response from the lab of the value of NephroCheck, which is basically TIM2 and IGF BP7 biomarkers of uh, acute kidney injury risk. Once the nephrologist receives this information, go straight to the ICU. Now, the important thing is that finally we have a specific intervention which is uh, triggered by this value. And what is the intervention? There is a checklist, right? Yes, we have a Cadigo guideline uh, intervention checklist that trying to see if the patient can be corrected or modified something in the treatment, like uh, take it out antibiotics, vancomycin, nephrotoxics, and also if it's the need of stop the fluids in order to avoid fluid overload. This is fantastic. So this is the first study that actually brings together the prevention and protection of, uh, for acute kidney injury together with the application on routine adoption of NephroCheck. I think that uh, Lilia had a great intuition in creating these fantastic four points and uh, you need definitely to read this paper on blood purification because it may create the basis for a new model of application in your own hospital. We will have at the end of the year the evaluation compared to the previous year whether or not this approach has allowed us to reduce incidence of AKI and severity of AKI whenever it occurs. With this, I thank you for joining today Cappuccino with uh, Lilia and myself and the Carga Journal Club and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Ah, excellent. <laughs>